And here's no two strangers either fighting each other. Actually, these two fought in the open weight. Just yesterday. Just yesterday. And uh, Luana got the better of Akira in that match. Let's see if we get payback here. Right. I'm sure Akira's been thinking about it every minute I, since yesterday. I, I would imagine. She, she almost nearly hit a Kuichigari off that, that guard sit there. Very close. Two very experienced players that have both been here before. Right, for a long time uh, at this weight division, Kira Gracie's name has kind of defined, you know, the gold medal. But recently, Luan al and a couple of the names in Alliance have really begun to uh, make a mark, for sure. That's, a, that's an understatement. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that was a really nice leg work by, by Kira out of the half guard, a near pass. She nearly took the back. And now she's got to keep Luana stacked up like this. So there's a couple of things that each of them could do here. Luana could sit back to her butt and try to sit to the guard, continue to sit to the guard. Uh, Kira could keep her stacked and try to actually roll upside down and, and take Luana's back, kind of jump upside down and put her head right beside Luana's head. Mm -hmm. uh, but risky move. But there goes Luana trying to sit back and continue to the guard. Looks like she's being very heavy with yeah, that elbow. Yeah, Kira's got that great belt control right that. here. That's very frustrating. It is, okay. It's <laughs> very frustrating. It keeps She's keeping her head pinned on the mat, which is a, uh, a perfect thing to do right here, actually, because uh, Luana's head's got to come off the mat a few inches to, to sit back to the guard. And it's by bringing her head up, Kira's going to feel that, and she's going to know right away what side that she's gonna sit to. With that pressure on the elbow, she's gonna feel exactly what side she wants to go sit, and Kira can go to the other side. That's, he's got being very heavy. Yeah, that's actually the better leg to be posting by Luana with that belt grip right there. It's going to be a little harder for Kira to take her back. Oh, she could try to jump around that leg. But uh, she's got very similar to, to a front head and arm in wrestling, but she's using that belt as leverage to, to keep the head down. What should Luana be doing here? I, she's doing the right thing, I think. You know, she's, she's posted up her right leg, which is the, the right leg to post in this case. Uh, and she's going to try to slide that left leg underneath her, her hips to try to... There she goes. Yeah. So that uh -oh. was the right thing to do. And whoa! <laughs> Almost in that Wow. <laughs> the Tomanagi style sweep. She's letting Kira know what she thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> that elbow in her head the whole yeah. time. <laughs> So she's, Luana's getting into a De La Hiva style guard. Kira's got to keep her right knee open. It, to kill the De La Hiva hook, you need to keep your knee open. It, takes, it makes that hook a little weaker. And she's got to have to get over that left, uh, the leg on her left side, which would be Luana's right leg. Yeah, Luana is very dangerous when she's playing guard. Yeah, and the De La Hiva, it's, there's so many things that you can do from it. So to kill it, Kira's got to keep her right knee open. She's got to step over that leg on her left side. And that'll help. That'll help kind of kill off the effectiveness of the De La Hiva and make Luana want to transfer to some other type of guard. So that's what her focus is. There she goes. Stepped over the leg. And Luana moved in. Different guard. Everybody, time to collect themselves, I guess, and <laughs> recenter. Back to the close guard. Do you think it's frustrating when, at this level in women's competition, the set of opponents is not 
you know, there's not hundreds and hundreds of people you might run into. There's probably a dozen, right? And names you probably get to know over time. Uh, do you think that's frustrating or is it comforting because you kind of get to learn people pretty quick? Or how, does, how do you think they feel about it? Yeah, I think it makes it, uh, you know, in a way, I guess it depends on what side you're on, right? If you're on the winning side and you keep beating the same people, how do you get how do you get fired up for the to face the same person that you've beat over yeah. and over and over, right? right? If you're on the 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 losing end, I think it's much easier to get fired up for for that guy. You know, it's I, you could take both mindsets, right? One depends on how 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 much they want to keep their title off there. They're in defending the title. It doesn't really matter. Shouldn't really matter who they're fighting, right? It's defending their title that yeah. they're concerned with. But but uh, I think it adds to the competitiveness. Yeah. I think it helps tell stories. Yeah, right? I, for sure, because they, they have history. That's a that's a great way to put it. Yeah. It's a great way to put it. And speaking of defending one's title, you know. Last year in the finals, in the absolute, we saw Lana Stefana versus Kira, if I'm not mistaken. Lana didn't even appear this year. So right. her, her title is vacant for her weight class and the absolute. That's right. Which I'm sure some women are not too upset about. Yeah. It makes her lives easier. Yeah. Yeah, she, she really threw around people. Want to plan a nice collar sleeve guard here, trying to break that grip off. There she broke Kira's grip off. Kira saves herself by keeping that knee in the middle. It's amazing how many little things go on right here. Like without that knee in the middle that Kira just did, it should have been triangle. Right. right. You know, it's yeah. it's hard to see that. I think uh, uh, on on some of the if you're if you're not quite an experienced player, you right. might think oh nothing much is going on. But but right there, that just simply putting the knee in the middle just saved Kira from from a triangle. Right. Um, so many attacks and attempts are, are going on. And those little things kill them off. It's, a, it's Those are the little things that make it really fun to watch, even if a match is kind of slow. This match is not slow by any means, but it's little things that, that count. All right, those are why these are black holes. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. I'd like to see Kira get a right under her in there. Still got the problem of getting over that leg on her left side. All right, Luana is doing a good job of keeping it complicated right there in between them. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. she's playing an excellent guard. She's gonna try to feed Kira's sleeve to that hand that's wrapping around there. She's got a collar. Almost eight minutes in and still zero zero with a, an advantage each. It's anybody's game right now. Kira's probably going to look to pass to her left. If she's got her left hand inside there, she's going to probably look to pass to her right, excuse me. Right. Yeah. Uh, Shuck that top leg down. Yeah. Right? yeah. Luana's kind of blocking that left side, so. Yeah, that knee in the face is a problem for Kira. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There she goes, pass yeah. to the pass to the right. She might combine with a jump through the pass to the left. There she goes to the other side. But Luana's defending very nicely. This is going to be a tough one to call if it goes to a decision. It is. It is. Because I, I haven't seen any any holes. Nobody's been uh, you know, avoiding the, the combat. There's been two people very solid the whole time. Yeah. The beginning. Yeah, they're both going for it. Uh, neither one has had any, any real submission attempts. They're just yeah. both really, well, that have, have landed anyway. Both. Yeah. Got to break the grip there. She's trying it, but Kira's got a good grip there. She goes to the pass. She's got to try to stack her hips up high. Or come back up through it. Maybe jump out of there to her left. Now Luana's going for a loop choke. But it's just not. She can't quite get up there high enough. Kira keeps that knee in the middle. Wow, talk about a good guard retention. Jeez. Guards. Yeah, I have to be honest, I haven't, I mean, there's not a lot of female competitors who guard I would compare to Luana's these days. Yeah. That is really impressive. Yeah, it's, it's very impressive. She's, she's 
doing a great job of keeping her, her at, the care at bay. Her legs are in good position. She's got great grips. It's an, uh oh, there's a triangle attempt, but that knee in the middle saves Kira again. But it's not as if uh, you know a lot of folks when they lose the guard, they'll roll over the shoulders and kind of regain it. She doesn't even need to get that. She yeah. uses it with her hips. She her hips yeah. out and the guard again. Just great leg work. The Alliance fans are in the house going crazy. It's a tie. Here we go. Who is going to get the decision? The girl that was on top the whole time or the one with the unpassable guard? Right. I mean, I, I, it's so hard to guess. I mean, I, I'm glad I'm not the referee right now because <laughs> you can't see it either way. Both showed technique that, you know, few people are capable of. It's yeah. an easy way to say it. And here we go. We're going to have a decision. The referee's conferred. The referee's going to be 50% wrong in somebody's eyes. Akira takes it. I guess and Luana doesn't agree. Very disappointed. Luana walks off the mat, understandably so. So Kira Gracie, the 2010 lightweight world champ. She runs straight for the arms of her coach, Hillian Gracie. Hillian, yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe she stayed safe in that guard because apparently Hillian has the best guard of the family. So she's probably trained with I him. I have heard that. I have heard that. Here comes Jake to get a word with Kira. Let's see if he can capture Kira <laughs> for an interview. 